All right, good day, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Fit Mash Show. In this episode, we got something special for you, something exciting. And you know, all of these shows that you guys hear me, I just babble off. I teach you something new. But this time, I'm actually going to bring on a fit mother and wife who has a story to share. Let's just put it this way. She has a story to share. So with that being said, allow me to introduce to you Trisha. Trisha is hidden from Trinidad. And Trisha is also one of the Fit Mac coaches. Good day, Trisha. How are you doing? Good day, coach. I'm quite all right. All right. Well, it's good to have you on. And it's been a minute that we had to do this interview. So I'm glad we finally got to sit down and do it. Now, in this episode, I wanted to do it a little bit different. So it's one thing to hear me give the strategies, teach lessons. It's a next thing to hear someone who has actually implemented them and hear their journey. So before we begin, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself uh, for the audience who are not familiar with you? Okay. Well, my name is Trish, well, Trisha, but they call me Trish. Um, I'm a mom, a single mom, that is. I'm a single mom. And um, I started this journey um, with FITMA in last year, April. Mm -hmm. So this year, April made it one year I do need with FITMA. So basically, just as every other mother, mm -hmm. I'm not a wife to say that I have lost my husband some years ago, so I'm no longer a wife, but I'm a mother, a single mom. Um, the journey, this journey, um, before I even go there, let me say something. Before I had my second daughter, I used to exercise. And then that my first daughter is 23. My second daughter is 15. They are 10 years apart. Okay. Okay. So um, when I had my first daughter, I used to exercise. But then after I come and have my second daughter, all exercise had stopped. Um, it didn't have a program that I didn't join. Mm. I did everything possible to kind of get the weight down. I just keep increasing weight. And I don't know if it was stress that made me increase weight. I don't know what was going on, but I was increasing in my weight. Mm -hmm. I started to have another headache. My knees started to pain, a lot of back pain. But I was trying everything possible. Everybody saying the program is good. We go in the program, do this, do that. I did everything. At the time, I was the juice diet. Tell me more about that. The juice and diet. And this is a juice diet okay. where you have seven days and you, uh, you're not taking any kind of food food. Uh -huh. Meaning your uh, juice like your vegetables and your uh, things and you drink it like that. Mm -hmm. But you're not eating like to say eating food. No, you're not. Okay. So okay. everything comes in a liquid form. So for even seven seven, for seven. And then okay. you, you rest. You rest for um five days and then you go back. Interesting. Right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. That did not work for me as well. That did not work for me. I did lose um three or four pounds at the, the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, like, my body just got immune to the juices. And I just, I wasn't losing any more weight. Okay. Okay. So you said that you, you start well, you started about April. That's a year ago, right? Yeah. Now, before That's that, what was life like for you? Like, what what was it about life that made you want to actually take action or lose weight what, what, what was life like for you okay as i said i was always i was never comfortable with weight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i always have issues with you know because and then when i started to have a lot of headaches okay back pain knee pains mm -hmm. and i was like this isn't you you know because i'm always an active person doing going you know and never a standstill person so i say something is wrong mm -hmm. so um here and there i was just scrolling to my phone mm -hmm. and, I see Fitma. and then i saw where you said that the busy moms and wives and um how much um, um to join and stuff like that. and immediately i 
was motivated to join this fitma group. Let me ask you something. Stick a pin there. Stick a pin there. So, yeah. prior to this, you said that you tried like a bunch of different programs. None of them didn't work. What was it about this one that you think it would have worked? Actually, I didn't. To be honest, it's not that I sure it was going to work. To be quite honest, no, I didn't. I just decided. Hear what? The way you you brought across the program, I said, "Here, what I'm going to join." And what motivated motivated me even more is when you said it was a challenge. I oh. always like challenges. Okay. So okay. when you okay. said mm-hmm. it was a challenge, I said, "Here, what, Trisha? You can do this. Okay. You definitely can do this." So that okay. that motivated me even more to jump on board. All right. Okay. Okay. Sweet. So now let's talk about the journey. Let's talk about the journey in Fitma. And like I said, I want to be more like focused on you because you know it's a lot of time times that we we come on here and we, we explain this stuff, but it's very few times that we actually hear people's stories. So in this episode, I really want to focus on you. So you you said for the it was a twenty eight day challenge. I think that one that one was. Yes, it was. It was the very right. so you said for the twenty eight yeah, challenge. challenge. Right, and then tell me how that journey began. Okay. okay, I I will not I will not sit here and lie. It was very hard. It was a very hard journey, but it's one that you have to build your mindset. Okay. You I'm see, sorry. when um because our body will always say we are tired right. or we can't go, but you see that mindset when you build your mindset that this is where I'm going. This is where I want to go. Mm-hmm. This is what will drive you, will motivate you to push forward. It had mornings that I said the exercise was like, whoa, I really had to get up by the and exercise. It was like that in my head. But then after the, the first week, it started to go the second week and more. And then uh-huh. there was it was like a routine. You understand? It became like a routine and my body started to feel better. Mm-hmm. And that is what made me, let's say about the fourth week, Right. But he was saying, this is it. This is it. Because I started to feel so energized. I don't know. The energy was like 100. I don't know where I was getting that energy from. But I guess it's because of how I changed my eating habits and stuff. Yeah? I know all that was helping me. But the, 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 the energy was so dear that you know, I was exercising morning and evening. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so because the energy was so high, and it was like I, I was tired, you know, I just had that full energy, that full blast of energy. Right. So I was on at 5.30, and when we come back on at 6.30, I was there again. You know, so it was like just that that motivation to just get there. And what even triggers when I, within the month, the, let's say the, the month, I started to see my body changing. Mm-hmm. And, and I said, this cannot be working so fast. Right. <laughs> so I said, I said, this cannot be working so fast. Right, right. So, <laughs> and let me, let me ask you something. Right? And then, this, when not only oh, me, sorry. but then go when ahead. people... Uh-huh. Go ahead, go ahead. But when ahead, people Chris. started to say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh-huh. What, are you doing? Uh-huh. what are you doing? I've seen it. I've seen changes in your head. I say here what this program has to be working. Right. It must be working. I encourage I try to tell people it's a program. I join and I put it online and I just join the program and it is really you know, it's really good. You just have to stick with the instructions and the guidelines and you know it works. Mm. So mm-hmm. it's not I'm not going to say it's an easy journey. Eh? It's not right. an easy journey. So don't just sit and say yeah, I join in this and it's going to work. You have to have that mindset that you want this to work for you. Right? So although we exercise, eating is a big part of it as well. And then, we, yeah, the eating journey is a big part of it. I mean, it will have days that you feel that you're fed up with salad and you're fed up with, you know, different things, right? But mm-hmm. it have ways that you can change. It have to make you feel to eat different things. And then I must say, with your guideline coach, Jason, like when you started to teach me about 
how to cut in portions, how to eat in portions. What is will make a proper meal? What will fill me? You know, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That was a big, big difference for me. Because I started to eat. Because I don't know if you quite remember, but I at a point in time I was having eating like, like intermittent fasting. I was eating right. ten in right. the morning. Mm -hmm. I remember that, and then I was eating in the evening time about after four or five, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that was my last meal that day. So, and, but then after, all that helped with my weight loss. Mm -hmm. And I, before we go there, on the end of the 20th, I was almost, I lost almost like almost 40 something points in there, Almost in 20 days. So that was like, this couldn't be real. I was, I was in shock. I couldn't, I was saying this couldn't be real. But wow. what was most amazing is that standing in front of that mirror and seeing my belly going down and I just not see my belly and I could not watch down and not see my belly and no could see me, you know, beyond my belly. I'm like, what right. is happening? Yeah, you understand? That was my greatest circumstance. That, that motivated, motivated me to mm -hmm. even go further. To nice. push even further because my stomach was always my issue. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always my issue because I hate to put clothes on and then you see before you, you put on your clothes, you see your belly. I never like I never, never like that. That was it that I had to get this belly done. Mm -hmm. So I started to lose, but losing the weight was one, but losing the belly was my thing. Because I started right. to lose weight and Maybe I, I I find it I was losing it too drastically. Let me just give a little joke. I was so <laughs> right. I was a bridesmaid in the wedding. I'm from one of my best friends. Right. I remember that. I went for measurement. The seamstress measured my dress and stuff and she put me so in it and stuff. But two weeks before the wedding, we went to try the dress. I did. It was way so big. She was wondering if it was the correct measurement. She said, you, right? Mm -hmm. So I laughed. She said, no, no, no. You can lose so much weight in that two weeks for summer. <laughs> so she adjusted the, the, the bricks. I went back the week before the wedding, four or five days before the actual wedding. Right. And lo and behold, the dress was way big again. Uh, the whole top falling over, nothing, it's not staying on my top. The whole wow. top is falling over. Uh -huh. So she is saying to me, No, no, no. This cannot work. This cannot work at all. So then, afterwards, um, she said, Let me, let me try something else. So she tried putting it up and stuff. Okay, she took it in, she take in again, she, she changed the zip, she did whatever. Okay, so the day. Two days before the wedding, I went to try the dress. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, it was still big. Wow. It was still big. So I had issues. Even on the day of the wedding, I had to tuck my dress. Wow. So my, my kids were saying to me, you losing weight every day because the woman took the dress and yet, and yet still it big. You understand? Mm -hmm. I even went to the wedding with the dress big. I couldn't help it. It was like a bag on me, nevertheless. Wow. So I still went to the wedding. Like so that was just the, my turning point day. Mm -hmm. Because in the end of the day, I, it wasn't like I was thinking in my head that I was losing with who I was saying I was losing with. I saw it in all different forms that I was drastically losing weight. Right. Right. So that that was my motivation here. But so when what I'm I want to say, coach, in the end of the day, sometimes we feel that we can't do something. Or people mm -hmm. make us feel that when we we have five, we you know we part. Well, I wouldn't say fat, but when we have extra right. blessings, that you will see. <laughs> you know, when we have extra blessings, that is that something is wrong with us. Oh, and we may, they make us feel so indifferent or whatever. But it's your mindset. And when you get a mindset that this extra blessing is making us sick, 
You understand? Oh, this extra blessing is having us feeling that hundred percent as God has given us life to have it abundantly. Right. Right. So then you started to think now. What can I do as an individual? How can I change this? Right. Mm -hmm. So then now here comes Fitma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is mm -hmm. telling us here what? Eat like this. Exercise like this. Do this. And if we follow these guidelines as I have done, I guarantee you will see results. It's not an if, it's not a but. Mm -hmm. As long as you go with the guidelines, you must follow guidelines. Mm -hmm. You're going to see results. And you will see, some of us people have a way, some of us will lose weight differently. I may lose right. fast on my stomach, others will lose fast on their legs. Mm -hmm. Everybody lose weight differently. But in the end of the day, as long as you continue, then you get your body tuned and you're getting yourself, you will see all the parts of your body get into where it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So, and and when, even when let's branch away from the body itself mm -hmm. and let's go to the health, all my headaches have now gone. Right. My back pains, my knee pains. So, I, I can't tell you when last I really had a head. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My blood pressure is always like a one one twenty, one eighteen. Nice, nice. Over seven six mm -hmm. and those I oh, I have perfect blood pressure. Nice, nice, nice. Right? And before time it needs to increase, but now I don't have that problem. Ah. Right? And that alone shows me that Eating right and exercising mm -hmm. get our body in a way that, you know, how to say it, in a more health conscious way because we become more health conscious. Now, I would think, if I see something, I would think, you know, I, I, I'm not going to have that sugar. That sugar is not right for me. You understand? Right, right, and then right. you would think, I'd rather have fruit. Mm -hmm. I want, I, I will say, you know what? If somebody say we want a snack, I will say, well, yeah, I will take the almonds. So I take, you know, you're no longer taking snack because now you're in, it's all in you. It becomes part of you. Right. You understand? So it becomes your everyday movement. You understand? It's no longer you're going to just sit down and just eat a big plate of food or, or just, you know? And, and even right. when you go out, coach, you go out to dinners or you go to birthday parties or weddings or whatever the case. Now you're looking for what is in my line of health conscious. You understand? You're not right, looking. Right. The big challenge. Why you would have, <laughs> I would take some in everything, a little in everything, you know? Right. But now you know what you have and you know, you're thinking in your head, mm -hmm. what shall I have? And most of the time, I would say, I'll just take some fresh salad and, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it is in me. That is part of me now. It's no longer, I'll take some rice and I'll take some this and it's no longer like that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to, I'll be quite honest, I'm not going to go back to that extra weight, that extra blessings. I'm not going back there, I'm telling you. I'm not, I am, then I'm not going back there. You have enough blessings. <laughs> and, yeah, that extra blessing. Because I had a lot of extra blessings. I was like, what I was. When I started, I was almost 270 something, 273 or somewhere there. Wow. Then, after the, then after the 20, I went to mm. 230, 31. I am yeah. not sure that was it. And then I continued. Today, I am 179. Wow. Right? So wow. I am. A Point people, when you hear, I hear people say they can't do it, you could do it. Wow, I am going to say you could do it. You could do it. It's just it's your mindset, just believe in yourself. You could do it. Wow, you so could do it. So, I when I do check myself, I lost almost 100. Wow, and wow. It's, it's like everything I had to change my entire wardrobe recently. Right, because right, right. Because I was speaking to coach, I was talking to you, coach, I was telling you, from the 1920 dreams, 
Um, down to 11, 12, 13, sometimes 13, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. So all my jeans are baggy jeans now. They are no longer. <laughs> no, In fashion. <laughs> yeah, everything is baggy jeans now. Right. So, um, so it's nothing that could, everything I had couldn't. So I either had to take them mm -hmm. Oh, I had to give them a reading or stuff like that. So now, when, even when I buy a piece, it is now medium. Mm -hmm. So it's everything has changed in my wardrobe, and, and it's just it, it was just a whole beautiful journey. At the beginning, it was a tough journey, but now I will right. say it's a beautiful journey. It's a beautiful journey, and. And when I'm a girl, I a little bit quote. When when we say we can't have the father and we can't have the bread, we could. Right. Okay. But it's okay. what you put in that. It's what okay. you how you make that. How you sit and you create your meal. I will put quinoa. Quinoa. I put. I grind the oat. I will put bran. I will put everything, and I will mix that. Right. Right. So I put in back every all kind of thing into that kind of thing, and I make the sadden. So I went okay. not just that one flow alone. Right, right, okay, okay. You mm. understand? Mm. So and then mm. and the next thing is the portions. You do have to. I know I cannot eat. I can't. The, the amount I eat really a portion. I cannot eat more than that now because I feel upset. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So you train your stomach in a way to eat small portions. So if you is to eat a whole starter, you have to change from eating a whole starter to eat water for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and most of us will say that we still feel hungry. It will only take a matter of time to watch for our stomach to start to shrink back to that amount of sweet things. Because when the, we eat the amount, we eat, we eat, we expand on the amount we eat, our stomach stretch to put the amount we're feeding. Right, 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 right. Uh -huh. Right? But if it is straight now to eat small portions, you realize that when you continue to do so, you're still, because now your stomach is adjusted to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So you no longer feel to eat the whole tada or the whole plate of rice or whatever the case may be. You know, you're no longer feeling for that. So your body now gets custom to portions. Okay. Because before time, I would eat a whole pack of nuts. But now with it, man, I know a whole pack of nuts is not to eat. Before time, I didn't know that. Because all the different times I join exercise thing, which I, and I think I mentioned this to you, mm -hmm. nobody actually said to me, Eat like this in this portion. Eat these things. Yes, they tell you eat fruits, eat them, um, vegetables, eat them, eat them. But who is actually sitting down to break it down to me to tell me this is the amount I should eat? Mm, 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 what I need to have on my plate on a daily basis. Nobody was giving me that direction. Right, right. Right? So I was just feeling that I could have, yes, they say eat protein, eat protein, but nobody right. was telling me how much protein I should eat. Nobody mm -hmm. was telling me how much vegetables I should have. Nobody was saying those things to me. So that's why I said when coming to me, into Fitma now, I had a guideline. I had a guideline to follow, and that is what I did. I followed my guideline. And as I always say, Listen to coach instructions. Listen to coach instructions and miracles will happen. You understand? <laughs> because I have seen now people, even now coach people is asking me. Some time ago I was walking the street and somebody was asking me because my waistline has gotten so much. Mm -hmm. And they asked me if I went to my body and I like, she said, you went, which part you went to do your body? I said, no, I didn't go and do my body. So she was saying that I'm going to do the bottom, you know how they have everybody doing their bottom area and stuff. And I like, oh, no, right. I did not. I did not. And she said, but how did that is small waistline? I said, I exercise a lot and I eat as best as I can. Mm -hmm. So when, so it's not, it's not something that, because I know fitness is not just for retirees. 
Right. It's right. have moms not. like myself. <laughs> of course not. It's not just no right. So that is what I'm saying. So it have moms like myself who's their forties. Right. Great. Still wants to feel great. Still Correct. feels like they are part of the the the, the um glowing ladies line. You understand? Mm-hmm. So we 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 concentrate on our bodies, so, and that is what fit mine is about. Is just to make us feel beautiful again, right? It's make us right. feel beautiful again. Mm-hmm. So I have I am this evening to people thinking about joining, as I always say. Don't just think it. Try it. Right. Try it and see if it doesn't work for you. Okay, but. Don't just say I have been in many programs and none will. Right. You know? Right. Correct. Uh, correct. Try to try Fitma, then say it doesn't work. But if you never try Fitma, then don't say it doesn't work. Correct. Correct. And right? Because no, Fitma mm-hmm. is, is a different program compared to the others. Go ahead, Coach. No, I was going to say, you started it already. Because it, normally what we hear, right, that person say is... They can't find healthy foods in the Caribbean. They don't know how to eat healthy. Eating healthy is expensive. So how are you? Maybe you could tell us like some of your meals. You started with some of your salt roti. So you've been in Trinidad. There are certain foods that are native to Trinidad. How are you still able to fit those foods into your everyday routine? Maybe you could tell us like some of the lunch you had, breakfast, etc. Oh, okay. So persons can see. And here and there, the people believe they have to cut out eating right in total and cut out eating certain things in total. You don't have to. Right. So what right. I do, mm-hmm. if I'm having lunch and I'm, I, can, if I have to cook for my kids as well, I can't just cook for myself. I have my kids to feed as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay, if I cook rice and feed, I will move away from stew chicken. Probably I will be baked chicken or those kind okay. of things. Right? Right. So, but when I'm having my meal, it will be very, very little, little rice. Not even a spoon, I should say. But a lot of cream, vegetables, mm-hmm. and a mm-hmm. piece of chicken rice. That will be basically. But then mm-hmm. you see me do, they will see me do, I love broccoli. It is okay. expensive. It mm-hmm. is expensive. I'm not going to say it's a cheap product. But mm-hmm. when I buy, let's say I buy um two pieces of broccoli, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I cut that up. I have that to use them three times. Okay, 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 right. Right? right. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. then now, it's not, not like I've eaten that amount one time. So let's say I spend $40 right. on, a bro- on broccoli, broccoli that I'm thinking about. Mm-hmm. Now I get three times out of $40. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand? So then we have to, we into and next thing people have to learn, as you always teach our coach, how to prepare our vegetables. Because right. a lot of times people overcook our vegetables and we take away a lot from it. So we need to learn how to prepare our meals as well. And mm-hmm. people believe that they need to use oil for stewing and stuff. You don't need those things. You don't need oil for stew. Right? You can you can stew without oil. Mm-hmm. What do you use? Just put your sugar in the pot and you, you put in your chicken after you don't need oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because okay. if you don't mm-hmm. watch after you cook that, the chicken releases with oil as well. Mm-hmm. So you add an oil to that is extra oil. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Mm-hmm. Right? So then you start. That's what I said. You have to start to think as you eat. Because okay. if you look at okay. everything you eat, then you will say, I'm not preparing this, this way. I will do it that way. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of times, we, 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 let's, let's just go back to our breakfast. Sometimes you may not be able to get, um, let's say, a multigrain bread or something like that. Right. But you right. can create. Right. But you can create out of your own kitchen something that is there. You may have oats in your cupboard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not saying to go out and buy it. Listen to me carefully. I'm not talking about buying anything. You make grocery, you have oats in your cupboard. You, can, you'll be, you'll make to make porridge. Right. Right? And then you may have, let's say, bran. Mm-hmm. You will have mm-hmm. that. So you combine that. And if you find it's not too fine, you put it in your chop, um, in your, your bullet and you make it fine. 
So that is your 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 beef. Now that may not cool to make cassada. So you're going to put very little white flour into that. Very little okay. to combine mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to create a cassada. I make who I make oats dumpling. Wow. Okay, keep this coming. Keep this coming, Jude. I mean, I make this is very so it's not is not that you cannot have and cannot consume. It's what you consume. Uh -huh. Keep it so going. if you're feeling to make dumpling, like if I'm making dumpling for my children, I know right. I'm not having white dumpling, but I could have oats dumpling. Okay, okay. Oh, I could have green banana dumpling. Hmm. And where you grate the green banana, you peel the green banana and you grate it, and you add very, very little flour just to combine it, and right. you make green big banana dumplings. Hmm. Wow, so you're getting your iron in there, yeah. mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Right. Let's right. Uh, and it's, it's so many things I have tried. The coach is keep going, so keep going. Good. The floor is yours. Let's say, let's say we make a pancake. I will not make pancake like how oh, everybody will put the milk and normal pan. No. I make like oats, so I will make quinoa, or I will make almond, or I will make. Even the, let's say the simple thing, like yam. That is a very, very strengthening thing. Right? And they pour it. Right? And they add milk. They add like almond milk. And oh, you know, something like. Right. Into it. But that keeps you full. True, true, true. Right? That will keep you full for a long, long time. So you will go the distance. Right. So right. you have to look. You know, because we too we get too comfortable in saying eating healthy is expensive. Right, right. right we get right, right. to um, you know, because we believe we have to buy the grapes, which right. is thirty and forty dollars a pound. We have to buy the apples every day. Mm -hmm. and the pears, we don't. When we live in a Caribbean country, Correct. there's some sort of food that is available to us. There's, mm -hmm. like, let's say now, presently, mango is in, the se in season. Every neighbor have mango tree. Everybody have a mango tree. You cannot tell me you cannot get some mangoes. You understand? True. True. And let's, okay, let's move away from mangoes. Let's just say Pompite and all these things. Yes, always available. It's always available. So we have to stop wanting to eat the grapes and the pears and eat what we have. True. In North America. Right? Eat what we have. Yes, we have to mm -hmm. eat what we have. And if we really go back to thinking, coaching, living in the Caribbean, yeah, there's always some sort of food. Right. Right. Next thing that is very good to put is coconut water. You see that coconut water? Mm -hmm. We could drink a, a whole tumbler of normal water. Mm -hmm. But you drink one or two glasses of coconut water and tell me the difference. You will feel. Okay. Your thirst will no longer be there. Right. Because it has electrolytes. And your body is getting much more from this glass of coconut water. True. True. Right? Right. Right. So, and, and, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what I will even tell you, everybody have a backyard. True. Plant a coconut tree. And in, and in six to eight months, you will get coconut. Point taken. Right? You will get coconut. And you will have to go and pay the $10 and so far coconut. You'll be drinking coconut. Right, 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 right. True, right? True. And coconut helps us a lot. That coconut water is important for us. Mm. It has a lot of nutrition. Right. So right. you could... It's something... We have to get out of the mentality because we, when we look, what is happening? Internet is fooling us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it tells us Eat right, eating right, they show us a plate with grapes and pears and apples and stuff like that. Right? And we feel that that is what we have to eat. But the same fruits we have have the same thing those things have. True, true. Exactly. Right? Preach, preach. So we just have to 
Yes. So we just have to fall on what we have. Mm -hmm. And I think my grandparents used to say, when mango is season, eat mango till they are one or more. Right. Because when it goes without a season, then you have to eat something else. Right, 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 right. Right? So we have to remember stop wanting this because we will say always people will give us the head, the feeling that eating right is expensive, but it isn't. We just have to go in our covers and start to use what we have, but use it wisely. Got you. And then when yeah. we start to think like that and we go to the grocery now, we're not going to pick up the junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're no longer picking up the junk in the grocery. We started mm -hmm. to look for things that will help us. Right, right, right. So we're moving away. So if we used to buy nipper flour, we are buying a nipper flour. We buy five pounds of flour from the nip. <laughs> right. You understand? So we are right. buying that again we're starting to look now for the oats and the other different things now because we are eating that flour so much again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and as you and what i've learned with bean and fitma processed food is a big problem true 100 percent. it is and i've learned that and it is the truth it is this gospel truth when i tell you that when you said that processed food is unhealthy to us it's mm -hmm. gospel truth Right? Because let's just say people have a way of just going and buy these red beans in the tin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? We ever take and listen and read what is in the thing that have the, in the red bean that preserves this red bean? It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. Burst that poor my red bean and put it in your freezer. Cook it as you wish. You understand? It's no good that they the think that they are preserving these things, but it's no good for us as mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And regardless of how you may rinse that, that's already absorbed into the peas True. or the beans or whatever the case. You understand? So we have to move away from all these things. We can make our own life easier. On a weekend or whenever you can, you both your pong a piece and you divide it accordingly. Right? Okay. And okay. you will for your, 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 your preparation is a plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know we're going to have to do we all of us working and we have busy schedules and we don't have time. Mm -hmm. Cut up your vegetables, you know you're going to make some vegetables, carrots, broccoli, whatever the case may be. Cut it, put it in your ear, your the plug back, and when you're ready to use it, it's readily available to you. You're not buying it off a tin, you're not buying it off a pres um, preserved or anything, it's natural. And to prepare these things, what I will always tell people put it into a strainer, make sure the water is boiling. You're going to rest that strainer together with those vegetables in that boiling water for three to five minutes and remove it from that hot water. Rinse it out and you have all your crunches in that vegetable. Still. It's not going to be soggy. Mm -hmm. So you have crunchy broccoli, you have crunchy carrots, everything still crunchy. Right, right. And when it is crunchy, you feel to eat it. When it is soggy, you're forced to eat it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? It's just something about how to eat it. But if you I have soft vegetables, you're, you're eating it, but you really want to eat it. But the minute it is crunchy, you clear that down before you know it. Right. So right. all right. the things they have, we have to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. All these things, as I, I, when we want to get as God created our body to be, mm -hmm. we have to cut out a lot, a lot of things, a lot of things, because society has made us believe that certain things is to eat, but it's the way these people are preparing these things make it unhealthy for us. Right, right, got you. Yeah, right, so we have to put all these things into consideration and start to think about these things. Hmm. Got you. And I got one more question for you because I'm sure the ladies on this show, as we're coming down to the end, 
promise of the 40 minutes while that time flies. Now, your daughters are around the teenage. At least one of them is teenage or young adult, right? Yeah. yeah. So how do you cook healthy and still have a teenage young adult eat that food? Because normally okay. what we hear is that I, eat, I cook the food, but nobody in my house wants the food. So All right. you probably alluded to some, but go ahead and, and, and share. Uh, okay, before, then, they, before, before they used to give a challenge to uh -huh. But when they started to see mommy losing the weight, mommy, you know, I eat like you, you know, mommy. I want to eat it like you, mommy. Okay. So now okay. everybody wants to eat like mommy. Because ah. everybody now realizes they want to eat mommy losing the weight. You understand? I want to eat like mommy now. You understand? So it's no longer a challenge. Right. So, but before, even if when it was a challenge, I used to... How to say it? Like when I said I'm doing red bean and rice and chicken and stuff. I mm -hmm. always implore them that eating healthy, this is, and this is not good for you. And I, you'll always hear me going on and on about that. And I will say, don't, don't beat it until they try it. Right. And they will then sit and they will try it. And you know, they will say, you know, mommy, it really tastes good. Mm -hmm. So then eventually they get a swing of it. And they just get into the, the, the thing. Because they're eating sadder just like that now. Right, right. They're eating sadder like that now, you know, where they're no longer, um, mommy, you're putting in the flower, and mommy, why are you putting, no, they don't complain no longer. They know, okay, here what, bam, that is what it is, that is what we have. Right, 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 right. They get accustomed, they get accustomed to it, so no longer it's a problem no more. Got you, got you, got you. And well, now they will tell anybody yeah. now if somebody say, um, when your mother cook, and they say, my mother does put all kind of thing and she's thinking, you know, she she'll just cook like that, you know. Right. So, they, you know, so they will say, are they sure what? <laughs> my daughter <laughs> daughter carry father and mm -hmm. potatoes to school, right? Mm -hmm. And she say, you sure you want this? And she offered the friends, say, yes, I want pizza because remember, I don't make father's normal, flour with flour. Right. And she yeah, sure gave my mother the cook the first of them. So she still gave the, the, the young lady a piece of it. And she was kill the thing tasting real good. She said, you know what inside it? <laughs> so she was like, and she said, you know, sure. she said, I had to tell my mother about this. <laughs> so it, yeah, so you see, it's, it's just a matter of getting them accustomed because we have to train them as well to eat right. differently yeah, because True. because of so many diseases and things are wrong. True. We have to train them to what to intake in their body because a thing that I've learned, um, my mother is a cancer patient, and what I have learned is that cancer feeds off sugar. Right, 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 right. Right? And now I move away from sugar you know, because, and I am employing my kids to move away as well, because it's no good for you. It's no good for you. So, um, I implore people, coach, I really do, as I always say, and, and not, I'm not talking about the six years and over, and I'm, you see that between that 40 to, to 50 and beyond age group? Mm -hmm. Now is the time to take stock of your life. Now is the time to grab your life by the handles mm -hmm. because you don't want to get old and have a lot of compl complications. True. True. Right? And, and, and when I say complication, because that simple thing like diabetes, mm -hmm. it destroys our organs. And if we don't get a hold of that now, what is going to happen in your later years? So now is the time for people to, and it's not about just getting health conscious, but it's thinking about your family, thinking about your life, thinking how you, know, you want to live longer, to be well around you, especially when you have children. You know, so we have to start to think differently. And I want to say that. Because I'm part of FITMA, that FITMA is a group to join. I'm not saying that, definitely not. Mm -hmm. 
I am showing you all that there's results. There's results and FITMA mm -hmm. is not just a, a program that, that says that we will do this and we will get like this. It doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. FITMA mm -hmm. says we have to yeah. change our eating habits. Yeah. We have to what what we are taking, and we also have to exercise as well, and that stays where we will go. There we are not saying you know fit my some program will say join and you will lose so much weight in seven days or fifteen days or whatever the case may be. Fit my is not like that. Right. Not like that, and losing weight and. And stuff is all up to you as the individual. Because if you say, I exercise, you know, come on today and you exercise next week. But when you're done exercising, you can play that food. There's nobody else than yourself you do wrong. Correct. Nobody else. Right? And when you come on again, you say, I'm trying to do the diet, but you know, it's yourself to blame. Right, 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 right. It's yourself. Mm -hmm. This program guides you, but you as an individual have to be motivated enough to follow guidelines. Mm -hmm. And as long as you follow guidelines and you do your exercises, I am guaranteeing you you're going to see your body change. But you must. You can't just tell me you exercise exercising once for the week or let's just say twice for the week. And you want to eat as you well like, mm -hmm. you just spin it up in mud. And don't blame Fitma. Please do not blame Fitma because it would not be Fitma. Please do not. Please, just blame yourself. Do not blame Fitma. Right, right. Because it is a program I will employ anybody to get involved in. I will ask uh, anybody, anybody who is like 40 and realize here what this will be just stick on me. Mm -hmm. Get off that. Yeah. Wow. Get out of that. Okay. So I am a living wow. testimony. Wow. I'm a living, living testimony. That mm -hmm. fitness program is, has been and is one of the most realist programs we will come across. Lovely. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And Trish, <laughs> definitely, I mean, just listen to you tonight. I, I learned a lot. And mainly just from the perspective of the client, because you know, sometimes as a coach, you just feed information, you take the transformations as just being normal. But when you hear it from the client, it really changes the perspective. Now, unfortunately, we have we are out of time, but we yeah. definitely gotta do some more because I wanna talk about your journey as a coach. I wanna also talk about your fitness routine. I wanna talk mm -hmm. about how you balance like every day. Uh, responsibility. That's a challenge. That's a challenge, time. as I said, so, but it's all in your mindset. Correct. So we're going to dedicate some <laughs> episodes just to those. But again, thank you so much for coming on. I um, really appreciate you spitting all of this knowledge here tonight. And I know coming from a mom who is in the grind, it will definitely hit different uh, for those moms who are in a similar situation. So just before we wrap it up, 60 seconds, closing words. What I want to tell you, ladies, don't give up. Weight is a thing will come to frustrate us, will have us down. Stress is the next thing as a mom, is a single mom, mom, working mom. Stress is a high thing and it will make us gain weight. So you have to be able to control your stress. And what I can tell you all, exercises do control our stress. So FITMA is a program that walks with you, guides with, guides you. And you would not be, you know, you wouldn't be Lord. So stay with Coach Jason. Listen to his instructions. And ladies, I guarantee you all, you all will see results. Guarantee. Excellent. Well said, Trish. Again, thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on the next program. And of course, we have conversation with coaches when you and Coach Judy will all be sitting around the table, maybe answering some questions. So. You guys will see a lot more of Trish. As I say, she's one of the Probably. coaches here at Fitmas. You'll see a lot of her, and you'll be able to ask your questions. We'll probably put a, a forum where you can ask your questions, review them, and then answer them on the show. Well, until then, 
Thank you guys so much for joining us on this episode of the Fit Ma Show. I am your coach, Coach Jason, here with Coach Trish, telling us about her experience, her journey, um, through her fitness transformation, and also importantly sharing some important nuggets with us. Those in the nutrition part, I really love those. So I'm going to have to create a bunch of mini clips from those um, and definitely will be using some of them in my cooking as well. Anyways, take care. Have yourselves a great evening. Until our next show, Coach Jason, Coach Trish, signing out. Bye-bye now. Yeah, bye. bye. Woo. Trish, thank you so much, girl. That was some serious information.